What is up YouTube? It's Jared. You're watching Spinning Wheel. Today's video is going to be all about the BMW, what it looks like, what it needs to have done to it, all that good stuff. Hope you enjoy the video. Let's go. First, I want to introduce you to the Project BMW that is going to be featured on this channel sort of as a I don't know how to fix anything, let's fix this car and make it really nice. That is what is going to be happening with the BMW. I am not a mechanic, I basically take it apart and hope I can put it back together the way I took it apart and the way it's supposed to be back together. So I am sort of mechanically inclined, I guess you could say. Um, I grew up around cars, I helped my dad fix cars, I've worked on my car as much as I could. Um, as I've owned them, I've changed my own oil, changed spark plugs, valve covers, valve cover gaskets, radiators, um, basic stuff. Not anything super difficult or internalized in the engine. That is about as far as I've gone. So, the BMW. Let me just tell you what it is. It is a 1995 BMW 325i convertible. It has 220,000 miles on it. It is a five-speed manual. I love it. I've already driven it a couple times. If you haven't seen the last video where I just drove it, just so you could get a, a good sense of the exhaust, click here for that video. It is a blast. I had an awesome time doing it. It was... I love the sound. I just want to take all of you in the car with me and drive you all in it so that you all get to experience what I experience when I drive it. I paid $550 for this BMW, okay? It was a steal. The body is in really, really nice shape. There is one dent in the rear quarter panel um, behind the rear wheel, but I think I'll be able to bump it out from the inside. It doesn't really look that bad. Other than that, there's a couple dings and scratches and a little bit of body rust around the windshield and around the rear antenna. Other than that, this body is clean. It is very clean. I'm talking with my hands a lot today, I realized. I don't know if that's because I'm part Italian or if it's just, I don't know what it is. Anyways, I'm really excited to show you this BMW. So let's go take a look at it. All right, so as you can see, the interior is definitely the worst part of this car. I mean, there's seat covers on the seats because there is almost no leather left on the seats. It is that bad. I don't know how someone lets the seats go that far, but they did, and that's what happened. So, anyways, the plan is to convert the interior into an all-black interior. So that means finding black seats, black rear seats, black door panels, black carpet, black dash, black trim around the windshield, and any other parts that are brown will have to be changed to black, either by me painting it, dyeing it, or actually getting new or replacement used um, parts. Um, seats. I'm going to need new seats, new front seats at least, and actually new rear seats. The rear seats are pretty, pretty shot as well. There's a couple rips in them, so new seats. The door panels. <laughs> I don't know if you could really pick it up in the video, but the door panels are completely trashed. Um, the previous owner or previous one of the previous owners actually screwed the, dr the door panels into the door. So that's a no-no, so I'm going to need new door panels. I need rear do rear side panels as well. There's no doors back there, so I just need the side panels uh, by the seat. And uh, I'm going to need some Lowe's. I'm going to need a new center console armrest because that one is completely ripped and trashed. So mostly the work that's going to need to be done is the convertible top and the actual interior. Um, I do have mismatched wheels. I do have two full sets of those wheels though, so the wheels that are on the front, I have all four of those wheels, and the wheels that are on the rear, I have four of those wheels, and they all match. Um, the only issue is the wheels that are in the rear, those are 18 inch, 10 inch wide tires. I don't know if I want to run 10 inch wides in the front of the vehicle, um, so we'll see. I'm, I may just do it just because I like the 18 inch wheels, and I like that look better than the the OEM wheels that came with the car, but 
we will get to that in a much later video. <clears throat> so wheels, tires, that's another thing that's gonna have to happen. Um, yeah, the power steering on this vehicle is pretty much shot as well. I don't know if there's just a leak or if it just doesn't have um, any fluid in it or not, but as soon as you start to turn the wheel a little bit, you get this nasty whine. So I gotta look into that and see what's up with that. Hopefully it's just there's a leak and it's out of fluid and I can replace the reservoir and maybe a hose and that will solve the problem. Fingers crossed that's what it is, but I don't know. I need to do front control arms, I believe, in the front. There's a pretty nasty wobble when you start to turn left a little bit, and um, and that's going like 50, 60 miles an hour. So there is a slight wobble, but it's only when you slightly turn the steering wheel. Once you turn it a little bit harder, it goes away. So it makes me think it's either like a ball joint or a control arm issue. So I'm probably going to redo the entire front control arm tie rods. Uh, upper, lower ball joints, all that good stuff in the front just so that it's new and I don't have to worry about it falling apart or breaking on me and I'm good to go. Um, other than that though, everything else feels great. The rear end feels perfect. It doesn't, it's not loose. The suspension is actually pretty decent um, for the car, so I probably won't do anything with that as of yet, but I may do something down the road once everything else is done, obviously. So the interior, the convertible top, the power steering leak, the control arms in the front. Um, once that's all done, I want to paint the car and I want to Plasti Dip it. I've been seeing a lot of Plasti Dip stuff going around. Um, that is something I definitely want to try. There's an awesome color out there. I'm going to keep that a secret for now. Um, but stay tuned for that. Um, we'll see what happens. So that's the uh, that's the first look at the car for you guys. Hopefully I didn't make a poor decision in buying this vehicle, but as far as I can tell, I think I got a steal. Um, it just needs a lot of love and a lot of work, and I'm willing to put that into the car because I love the car. So hopefully you guys want to stick around and watch this journey with me. I will do update videos as I do work on the car. Um, because it is winter and very cold, I don't know that I'll be doing a lot of work as of right now. It's probably just going to go into a garage or storage. Uh, for now, but I wanted to let you guys take a look at it and see what I have and um, and I'm very proud of it So I really am excited about this project and I want to bring you guys along on the journey and hopefully in the summer and the spring It'll be to a to a point where I can take it and present it to you guys and to other fellow car enthusiasts um, At meets so that's the goal all right, so there we are. You've seen the BMW. What do you all think? Did I make a good purchase? Was it a stupid idea? Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. That'd be awesome to read what you guys have to say. And I've also decided I'm going to change this uh, sort of giveaway that I'm doing for the 100th subscriber. So when I get to 100 subscribers, I will pick a random subscriber. How about that? Random subscriber will get a free spinning wheel t-shirt. Definitely subscribe. Hit the subscribe button right up there. If you are not a subscriber and you like what I do and you are interested in this BMW project that I'm going to be working on, definitely hit the subscribe button. All right. It means a lot to me. It knows that there are people out there that are interested in what I'm doing. And yeah. So subscribe if you haven't already. If you have subscribed, thank you very much for the support. I appreciate it and be looking forward to all these new videos that I'll be posting as I'm working on the BMW. Also, don't worry, I'm still trying to do some of these car reviews, and that's about it. You guys keep a yagging. I will see y'all later.